Okay, so this is the turbo that you get with the MK Turbo kit. This is the basic turbo, the T3. What I'm going to do today is uh, port the wastegate because the wastegate is uh, pretty poor from the factory. So we're going to port that out a little bit and uh, that way you don't have boost creep. So let's get started. <laughs> All right, should have caught that. I just did a noob thing. I just pried on the Jesus clip. Thankfully, I found it. There's a little bit of preload on that wastegate. Hmm. Thing barely freaking moves. <laughs> Even if you don't port the wastegate, you should tighten these all these bolts there. Barely hand tight. thing is covered with this like Chinese freaking gutter grease or something Try to lift this thing off as square as possible. Which I'm failing at. There we go. Try not to ding that up. So if we can set that aside. Isn't that cute? Okay, so what we're going to want to do is carve us a little channel down to there. And also increase the diameter of that. Some grease. Get my sharpie. So what, like, so like that.
got a nice circle there. Kind of draw a line in there. All right, so I'm using the uh, Harbor Freight die grinder, the electric one. That's what Lars recommended. He also recommended I get some carbide bits off Amazon, but I haven't got those in yet. So either this is a cheap one from Home Depot. So either this is going to work or you'll see me cut to when I have my new bits in here. Let me. So now basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to just hog this out to that little sharpie line that I made. You don't want to go all the way to the edge of where the grease was from the flapper. You want to be just inside of it, one, two millimeters, maybe a little bit more, because um, otherwise it might leak around the side. So you want a good seal, but look, we got a, we can increase that a good amount. And then inside here is really simple. We're just going to make a little channel. That thing like fucking doesn't even move. Is that all it needs to move? Cool. I don't know if that's needed or not, but I need like a good quarter, quarter inch more uh, travel on the plunger or the flapper. All right, so that's pretty much it. I'm gonna clean this up, put it back together. So, this little channel I carved out. And enlarge this side. And then what I did on the uh, outlet part here is I just cut a little divot, or ground a little divot in there. like like that so we would go from there and then that was fully open now we'll go a little bit further I don't know if that's gonna help with boost creep or anything but uh can't hurt so I had the grinder out so I'm gonna put this back together I 
the uh, let's say port the wastegate. Simple enough.